<laughs> Come over here, little buddy. Look at that one, little buddy.
Watch. These are my all-time favorite sort of whale. I absolutely love these guys. 
Um, I love a lark a whale! I do, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Uh, and part of the reason that I love these guys so much is because of how acrobatic they are. So we don't get to see this kind of behavior very often out here. It's really rare. Um, but you just saw the table there. But when we do get to see it, it's spectacular. This is the largest species of whale that is able to breach. So it's able to throw itself all the way out of the water like that. And the reason that they're able to do it, even though they're so large, in our area, the largest animal was 52 feet long. Don't move that fast. Right? Bye. That is a big animal. Now these guys are also baleen whales, so they don't have any teeth. Baleen. Uh, I, I knew that they don't have any teeth. You know that they don't have any teeth? Do you know what baleen is? No. I don't know what it is. Okay, do you know what it might do? Do you have any idea? They don't have any teeth, but they have baleen. What do you think it might do? It it might suck in plankton. It'll be just used pieces of plankton floating in the water. That's a very good answer. Well done. Yeah. So the baleen, it's made out of keratin. It's the same stuff that makes up like your fingernails or your hair. And it hangs down kind of like a big comb. These big plates that turn into sort of hairy whiskers at the bottom. And basically, it's like a giant strainer. So the way these guys feed is they actually just swim through the water with their mouths open. They take in all the water, but also whatever sort of little animals are living in that water. So for these humpback whales, they like eating small schooling fish, and then also zooplankton. So that would be like krill, what you said with the plankton. Like if it was a yeah. part of fish, then the whale just open it and knocked up and then just grab them. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, so it's not quite like the, like the killer whales. But then what do they do with all that water, right? So what happens with these humpback whales is they'll allow their tongue, when they open their mouth, their tongue actually sort of gets stuck into a little pocket at the roof of their mouth. It sort of like contracts into the roof of their mouth. They allow that tongue to expand. And the tongue of a humpback whale is massive. It weighs about two tons. And it will expand and push all of the water out through the bay leaf. And then they get a nice big full mouthful of food because the food can't get out through the plates of baleen. They get stuck in their mouth. So you'll find different species of baleen whales have differently shaped baleen based on what they're eating. The humpback whale baleen is really, really fine and close together because the krill they're eating are very small. Like the whales, they need to be able to the catch small fish. Yeah, it goes and it sucks in the water too. It does, but it doesn't have any plankton. Yeah. Or it does, sorry, yeah. it doesn't have any baleen. Nope. It probably has plankton. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Same idea. So essentially for these really big animals, this is the lazy whale's method of feeding. It's super low energy expenditure for very high gain. They're allowed to be able to get a huge mouthful of food in one go with basically no energy. One of these animals uh, a day in the, uh, the summertime, the so in the summertime, they have to eat about two tons of krill a day in order to put enough weight back on that they're then going to be able to survive their migration in the winter months with no food. Because they actually fast for about half the year. Yeah, he's long gone. He's gone deep. You like these silly humans? Huh? He's like yeah, silly come on, humans. See if I can find I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to have a while. Look at these people. <laughs> Yeah, with these animals, you know, even though they're absolutely massive, their mouth takes up nearly two-thirds of their body. They're, they're all mouth, basically. 